Welcome back everyone, I am Scribe, and this is Let's Play Banetta. And here we're gonna start Chapter 5, I'm gonna point some things out early on, and I'm gonna try to fit, uh, a bit of a rant in here. It's not entirely off-topic, but it is something I wanna get off my chest here. Frequent flyer miles for that flight. So, in this notebook, Antonio goes into some of the shared history between the witches and the sages. The two clans were heavily segregated, so there wasn't any intermingling. But during solar eclipses, because of the symbolic nature of the sun and the moon overlapping, the clans the clan leaders were allowed to meet. This area that we're in for this chapter served as a, a both a burial ground and a meeting spot for both clans. On either side is a valley here, one being the Crescent Valley and the other is the Sunrise Valley. Okay, so unlike most of my typical Let's Plays, I've kind of uh, restrained myself from going off on off-topic tangents, but this one I really want to throw out there. I didn't regret playing uh, through Bayonetta on the PS3 version. It's the game. It's the version I got on release. It is an inferior version of the Xbox, and both um, the screen tearing's worse. There are, I think, there are frame rate dips. The textures look uh, muddier, and there are m significantly longer load times on the PS3. I think there have been patches that have dealt with a lot of these issues, but. Still, all in all, it's the inferior version. Still, I didn't regret doing the Let's Play on Bayonetta. I still love the game. Still love the PS3 version of it. I would like the 360 version more. That's about it. I was about to rebuy the uh, 360 copy just to do a Let's Play of it, though. Anyway. So, had no regrets with the PS3 version. Up until now, and it's not even really because of the game itself, the reason that I'm kind of regretting it now is less to do with Bayonetta and more to do with uh, Sony using something called HDCP, which is High Bandwidth Digital Copy Protection. And the reason I bring this up is because if you've been watching uh, Mike and I, our Banjo-Kazooie series, you might have noticed that I, ha I got a new capture card recently. It's a Roxio uh, GameCap HD Pro, I think it's called. And one of the nice things about it is it's capable of capturing in, an, in a nice, crisp 1080p at 30 frames a second, which is perfect for YouTube. However, the other nice thing about it is that my old setup with the PVR was about 12 wires, or 12 inputs, rather. It was two different sets of component cables, and the AC, and um, the USB, the laptop. With the, uh, the Roxio card, it's just a USB connector to the laptop and two HDMI cables. And it's also pretty convenient because I don't have to go swapping uh, that much in the back of my TV. And my TV's kind of positioned in a weird way against the wall, so it's hard to get back there to swap, you know, five component cables out. However, I still have to use the component cables and I, and I still have to record in 720p on the PS3, just the PS3, because of this HDCP protection. So what it does is it encrypts the signal so that devices that are not HDCP compliant cannot uh, capture the signal. And this HDCP works with um, DVI and HDMI specifically. So, because the Roxio card is not uh, HTCP compliant, I cannot capture a signal from the uh, from the PS3 with an HDMI cable. I have to use components. 
So, one of the more insidious things about HDCP, aside from just the restrictive nature of it, in order to get a license to playback uh, HDCP encrypted content, you have to purchase an annual fee from um, one of Intel's subsidiaries, or some uh, subsidiaries. And I think they also put some restrictions on you. So if you don't pay, you don't get to playback uh, HDCP encrypted content. And Sony, unfortunately, uses HDCP. So I'm having some real issues here. Now, of course, this is, you know, as first world problem as it comes, but still, when I can set up in about 10 seconds to record from my 360 and get a higher quality capture with this $150 new card that I just got, it's a pretty irritating inconvenience to have to still do things this way on the PS3. And I'm greatly disappointed uh, in Sony that this is even an issue. And to be honest, if Sony's going to continue to use HDCP throughout the next console generation, it's going to it's going to have a tangible impact on uh, which platform I buy games for because of what I do for my uh, fairly meager living. I can't just entirely skip out on buying uh, both consoles, the, both uh, Microsoft and Sony's next consoles. So I can't just go into like full on protest mode, unfortunately. Um, but it is going to affect what I play on more. Because if I can't reliably capture, or I can't capture in higher quality from the PS4 than the 720 or whatever they're going to call them, um, I'm going to go with the one I can reliably capture higher quality content on. Anyway. So, while that big rant was going on, we went through a couple interesting things in-game. We got introduced to uh, the grace and glory enemy, the uh, the electricity and fire dogs. Or not dogs, really. Bipedal dogs. And they proved to be pretty easy. They wielded a few claw weapons, which are pretty much Durga. They're the weapons that we're going to be unlocking in this chapter, and I am kind of getting my oh my god i'm getting rocked in this alpine challenge so this alpine challenge is just like the first one we did so i can only do damage to these guys while witch time is active i wasn't expecting to have this much problem this many problems with this alpine challenge i think this is my fifth attempt at this oh man it's a shame, too, because I was having a really good uh, string of Alfheim, gate, uh, Alfheim portals in, like, the past couple episodes. But nope. This one's here to bring me back down to Earth for some reason. Oh, and I missed a torture attack opportunity. I hope I don't get hit. Okay. Kind of playing with fire here. Um, oh yeah, and these are the grace and glory enemies I was talking about. Just gonna bring that up for the fifth time in case I beat it this time. Yeah, these guys aren't too bad to get used to. Yeah. The jinx, in effect. They move very, very quickly, but they're super, super aggressive. So it makes them a little bit easy to predict. It's I have a tough time staggering them though, so I almost have to react and get uh, a witch time dodge. Okay, if rule of thumb is in effect. Oh come on! There we go. And of course the uh, the grace and glory enemies drop their claws, so. That's quite handy. And I'll sh transition straight into a torture attack, and this should be the end. I hope, anyway. Yeah, awesome. I didn't even get hit by uh, the fairness. Cool. Everything's coming up, Millhouse. Oh, by the way, I didn't want to um, 
stop in the middle of my rant earlier. When I was kind of dicking around at the start of the level, just shooting at the walls, I wasn't- it wasn't just that I was getting distracted by the, uh, the ranting. What I was doing back there was, um, I learned something interesting, like usual, watching, uh, uh, Hideki Kamiya's commentary. You could apparently shoot at the the walls, and if you shoot long enough, Bayonetta will engrave a, a pattern with her gunfire on the on the walls, the decal left behind by the bullets, and they can be a B or I think a heart. But I guess the decals only get left behind on certain uh on certain backgrounds. Okay, and I forgot uh what the button was to switch between weapon sets. So gonna equip uh, the whip real quick. And we'll get around to using that at some point. For now, though, uh, even though it's, let's see, I'm trying to actually calculate how many, how much time I waste in that Alfheim challenge, doing that five times, and then subtracting that from the recording time. Um, I think this should be about 12 minutes so far, which not my normal episode length, but this episode felt a little all over the place and disjointed as it is. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to probably do a lot of editing to make sure my rant isn't overlapping cutscenes or... Like, it's not bleeding into the, uh, the Alfheim challenges I failed that I'm gonna cut out. So, gonna go ahead and clear my head, figure out what I'm gonna do for the editing. And then I will come back in the next episode and that will be much, much longer and more informative than this one. So, until then folks, thanks for watching. Take it easy, have a good one.